Maple Systems thanks you for joining us. In this video, you'll learn how to use condition object to replace the if else statement in macro. Make sure you have Easy Builder Pro version 6.06.02 .06 or later. First, we need to build a macro to combine multiple conditions in order to use these conditions as the object security register. Now we can simply use a condition object to do that. For example, to set LB110 on if LB100, LB101, or LB102 is on, we just add a condition object, select or operator. Add LB100 is on as conditional number one. Add LB101 is on as conditional number two. Add LB102 is on as conditional number three. Set the output to LB110. The condition object can be selected in Action Trigger, Global, Objects Mode Settings. Set condition object 1 is on as the action trigger condition. Add a set word action as a triggered action. Set condition object 1 is off as another trigger condition. Add a set word action as a triggered action. Run a simulation. If LB100, LB101, or LB102 is on, LB110 will be set on and the defined action will be triggered. Word type addresses can also be set for conditions. In condition 2, if LB120 is on and LW120 is greater than 100, then LB130 will be set on. Set LB120 to on first. When LW120 is greater than 100, LB130 will change to 1. If we change LW120 value to 0, LB130 will be set off since the condition is no longer satisfied. Selecting another condition object as condition is also possible. If both LB140 and the condition object 1 are on, LB150 will be set on. LB150 can be used as the security register and it can replace the if else statement in macro. Set LB140 to on first. When condition 1 is on, LB150 will change to on and the object with the security setting will show up. Thank you for watching.